The school year has started. Oh, Lord. School year has started, and now we all got to be waking up and get the kids on the bus. Got to wake up every morning, make breakfast. Got to wake up every morning, make sure everybody brushing their mouth. But here's the thing, though. I'm co-parenting with one of my child's father. And this dude claims to buy everything and do everything for our daughter. So, all the stuff I bought for her, I'm finna to put M for mommy on each of the tags on the clothes. Like, literally. Because even when we go to court, I bought the shoes I bought the clothes, I bought toothbrush, I bought pads, I bought panties, I bought bras, buys everything. And then when I look up, all the stuff goes to his place. And I don't want all these altercations and confrontations, so it stays over there. And when I tell her, all these things you're taking, you don't have any clothes here. But then... He keeps on being adamant until the, that child takes all her stuff over there. So from now on, it's like, Mommy, you got to start marking everything you buy because this man trying to make a fool out of you, out of your efforts and everything you do. I'm telling y'all, man. Sometimes it's difficult co-parenting with, with some people, but you just got to be smarter to do what you what you need to do so it's less stressful for you or whatsoever because oh i'm telling y'all good morning you bring bringing towel bring towel so you dip your hair now what time is it it's 6 46 oh you don't want to you want to wait till you come back uh okay turn the stove off and then good morning good morning good morning I'm about to mark every piece of clothing I bought. Because when it ends up over there, and I say, baby girl, bring your clothes that I bought back home, and there's any argument about it. And any argument come up about, oh, I bought this, I bought that, I bought this, I'm the one buying all that stuff. And everything is over there. No, no, no. We're going to be checking that tax to make sure it came from mom. You see that? It came from mom. Because when you co-parenting with some people, they have the mind to make you feel like you are a unfit parent. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Because some some parents they just they just tend to be bitter. They just tend to put their feelings in co-parenting. Their feelings will remain there. However, they feel about you, they will continue that mess the whole time. So I'm gonna mark M on every piece of clothing I bought for my daughter with my own money. When it goes to his place, and I tell her, baby, I need you to bring your clothes back. She got a way to identify the ones that I bought. If he doesn't give you a check, he can quit lying to himself. Yeah. Yeah. But I might want to leave that in the car, though. I don't trust high school yeah, students. Yeah. Have a good day. You have your Chromebook? Yep. Let, let me pray for you. First day of school. <laughs> Give me your hands. Oh, your brother hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you and glorify your name for taking us 
throughout all these years from these children birth to their teenage years we want to thank you oh god for protecting them oh god we want to thank you jesus christ oh lord because you have kept them throughout kindergarten preschool all the way to 11th grade father thank you for the new school year thank you for our good health Thank you for everything that you have done for us to keep us and to keep us and sustain us up to this point, Father. As they start the new school year, Father, we pray that in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, that you will take control of every classroom activity, O oh God. That you will rule over every instructor, O oh God, Father. That they will have patience with our children, O oh God. That they will have patience to understand and reason with our children. For every question that they have, Father, I pray for these children, O oh God, that you will give them the confidence and the self-esteem, O oh God, and elevate their mind, Father, and give them the bravery and motivation father to ask questions give them the motivation and the bravery father to engage prioritize oh god so that they can they can learn what they're supposed to learn study what they're supposed to study oh god and prepare for every homework assignment and do what they are all to do to make good grace father i pray that in the mighty name of jesus that every Every friend or every individual, Father, that try to cross their path or get close to them, Father, to influence, to have bad influence over them, Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, rejecting them, covering, covering them over your blood right now, that they will be protected from any bad influences in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. I pray that you keep them focused. I pray that you keep them well prepared all the time, Father. Give them your grace, oh God. Bless them and favor them, oh God, and strengthen them in anything that they they, they want to do at school, in anything that they they want to they want to achieve in school, Father. I pray that your blessing will be upon them, that your favor will be upon them, that your protection will be upon them, that everything that they touch, everything they do, everything they think of, everything they apply, Father, will be a total success. And I pray blessing every teacher, every faculty, oh Father, that they will have love for these children, oh Jesus, that they will have concern for these children, no matter what kind of situation that presents itself while our children go to school. I pray, Father, that everything will end up in peace, Father, in loving, in loving conclusion, Father. Every situation and place it in your hand, Father, that everything will be done for your glory. I thank you and praise you, and I believe that in the mighty name of Jesus, this is going to be a successful and, and, and good school year. Have your glory in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. We got extra pencils over here, Tasha. Down there in that drawer. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. So, yeah, I'm taking a Sharpie. I'm gonna mark every clothes that I bought for my youngest daughter. Because co-parenting with that individual is a pain. It's a pain. Some parents have to have the nerve to try to make other parents look bad. Some parents have the nerve. I put M on it for mom. Some parents will have the nerve to try to make other parents look like you don't do nothing at all. You don't do nothing at all. Yeah, if your kids start in school, remember to pray for them, man. Since I woke up this morning, you know, it's like it's been... It's been on my mind. Pray before they go. Pray before they go. Pray before they go. And I cannot disobey that voice. So, even though I was already live, but the devil is a liar. <laughs> I'm praying and rebuking the devil from on my life, too. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yep. Some parents, boy. 
and want to make you look like the bad person. For $150 child support a month. Sometimes some of these co-parents they are not they are not paying anything in child support. Some of them they're paying fifty dollars a week in child support. Some of them they're paying twenty dollars a week in child support. Some of them they're supposed to be paying, but they're not paying anything. But for mine, for one hundred and fifty dollars a month, I sure get a lot of noise over that little money. I sure get a lot of noise over that little money. And then you go and shop for your child and you're spending seven, eight hundred dollars because nowadays the kids don't even want like regular shoes from Burlington or Walmart, you know, or Ross and stuff like that. You go to Ross and they're feeling like any shoes there is a knockoff. Like, child, if you don't go to the mall, they feel like you're not getting the real deal. And you know, you buy two pairs of shoes, especially teenage boys. Oh my God. Especially teenage boys. Their shoes be so doggone expensive. Yes, this hit, hits home this morning. Me and my husband live together. Yes, we are. Yes, we are married. I say husband because he thinks he's one and he's not. But I totally understand it. He makes me look absolutely horrible to everyone. I want to split, but he knows I have nowhere to go. Girl, you got nowhere to go. I'm going to tell you. It's just that it's just that every culture is different. And then sometimes when you try to go live, uh, you know, when you try to go to a friend or a family to start all over. Sometimes they too make your life feel worse. They make you feel horrible. They make you feel like that you're nothing just because you're in their house or stuff. But I've had, I've had, <laughs> I've had to do that for some, some close friends. I had to do that for some good friends because I mean, I was in an abusive marriage before, but I was in the Navy when mine happened. So when it was time, I got out of there. Shoot, I got out of there. I mean, I'm not telling you to leave your marriage either because I don't know. Marriage is for better or for worse. You know what I'm saying? Marriage is for better or for worse. And sometimes, like I tell my sister, I said, <laughs> we women, we just got to... Stop charging things to our head and our hearts all the time, you know, because that's what really hurts your feelings. Most of these things, like, like I tell this, this other co-parent of mine, I said, I'm going to choose how your negativity is going to play on me. I'm going to make that choice. Not you. You can say whatever you want to say. Use whatever words you want to use. Try to behave and in every, in any way that you want to behave, when I see you, you can have any kind of body language you want to have. I'm going to choose how that's, how that's going to play on me. Because my happiness is my priority. Happiness is from within, not from without. So what I see, what, what I see you do, what I, what I see you do, what I hear you say, I make the choice how that's going to play on me. So if you want your peace of mind and you are a wife or a husband... You really got to take charge of your emotions. You got to take charge of your thoughts and everything. Because sometimes somebody may say one thing and in your mind you begin to have the, the you know, all these negative conclusions about it. All these negative, negative thoughts about it. You go deeper and deeper into what the person say and how you, how you think about it, how you apply it to yourself. It begins to break you instead. But most people who are negative, that I feel like they are already broken. And misery loves company. You're not about to drag me into your brokenness by trying to break me with your words. Words are powerful, but then again, you are more powerful than whatever somebody else says to you. Because you got to take, take charge 
and decide if that's going to play on your emotions, if that's going to play on your mind, if that's going to break you, if that's going to ruin your day, if that's going to, you know, make you have an entire detour in what your priorities are in life and in, for that day in particular. I've been through a lot, a lot in my life and I've reached the point that I'm not going to man or woman or boy or girl or whoever I socialize with. They're not going to battle determine how my day going to go. I'm going to, I'm going to take charge of that. I don't care if we're married. I don't care if we're co-parenting. I don't care what the hell is going on. I'm taking charge of my mind and my emotions. I'm going to choose how I'm going to feel about something. If you say something negative, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock it. I'm going to brush it right off. TDJ said, throw it off. As, as fast as they send it, throw it off. As fast as they send it, throw it off. I don't know if that, those were the exact words he used, but when they throw it, you throw it off. You throw it off. You see, this situation with the father of my youngest child, I was married once, I had two children, and then after that, another failed relationship, <laughs> it happens. Yeah, but I wasn't married to the second guy. So all, everything that I do, this dude tried to make it seem like I don't do anything. He been trying to make it seem like he buys all the clothes, he buys all the shoes, he does everything. So, everything that I'm buying from now on for this child, including the shoes, I'm going to put, including the shoes, <clears throat> I'm going to put M on the inside of whatever little paper. I'm going to put M for mom. And when stuff starts to disappear, when it starts to seem like she ain't got no shoes and no clothes left here, I'm going to tell her, look on the inside of the tags. If you see M on that thing, bring it back home. I bought it. You're going to bring it back home. That's what I got to do. You know? <laughs> and this video, <laughs> in the future, this video might be used in court when he try to make me seem like I'm a fit parent and he does everything. Okay? This is what I got to do. Nah. For $150 child support a month, you ain't going to, you, you're not going to be acting like that is paying for everything. That's paying for food, clothing. No, that's not paying for everything. I barely touch that child support account any bag on ways. Barely. Barely. So everything that I'm buying, I'm putting mom, M for mom on it. I think that's why I'm going to have to put it on the inside pocket. I'm going to make a big old M right here. Yep. I don't want no confrontation. All, we, all you got to do is look on the inside of her clothes. Yep, $150 a month. Look on the inside of the clothes. If you see M... Then, Negro, you are not the one who bought it. Send it back home because that's mine. Send it back home. That's mine. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do to prevent certain confrontation, to prevent certain lies about you. Oh, I'm good at that. I'm good at doing what I need to do to reduce my level of stress. I am very good at that. Oh, yes. I ain't going to buy all this stuff and then tomorrow when she take it to her place and I'm saying, oh, baby, you need to bring your clothes back. And then he over there talking about, oh, I bought all these things. I bought all these things. I bought all these things. No, I'm not going to do that. Not this time. I'm going to mark anything I buy for this child with the letter M. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mark everything. So, sweetheart, to you who just said something about your husband making you feel horrible and look bad to everybody, keep the clothes you buy at your house, and he keep the clothes that he buy at his house. Don't send nothing. You know, sometimes you come from school... Like, how we arrange this stuff is like, she comes from school, and he picks her up from 4 to 7. 
So he does mathematical assignments and, you know, and stuff like that with her. And then I pick her up at seven, you know, and come home and do language arts with her and stuff like that. But sometimes it depends on the agreement for that day. If he were to say, oh, can she spend the night here? You know, sometimes she may spend the night there. And then sometimes on weekends, whatever clothes she wears to go down his weekend, when she wears certain clothes to go there, you know, sometimes that clothes, she may not remember to bring it back. So for that reason, I mean, it's, it's, it's impossible for her to not take any clothes from here there. So I just got to do what I got to do when I'm saying, hey, bring your clothes. Just find the ones that got M on it and bring it back home. Because mommy bought that one. You know? You got to... Now I do my best now for, for him to have 50% of parenting time with his daughter. Even though... You know, when it comes to parenting the state, I'm the custodial, the custodial, the custodial parent will have the, the child all week, you know, and then every other weekend to the non-custodial parent. But I, I don't want to work it out that way because, hey, I, I didn't make this baby by myself. So you take 50%, I take 50%. Okay, as long as we keep it civil and we're not, we not bringing all that emotions into it. Because I'm not interested. I'm still not interested if you're interested, okay? Because we like oil and water. And I need I need my mind for the for my other two children and myself. Okay? And everything that I got going on. I need my sound mind. Sometimes you and some people just can't coexist. You just can't click. You just can't get along. Sometimes it's just like that. No need to force it. I'm hot-headed. You're hot-headed. What the hell are we supposed to be doing together now? No. I need a quiet man who know how to take his time and, and intelligently approach my craziness. Okay? That's the kind of man I like to be with. I love to be with a quiet man who knows how to take his time and intelligently approach every situation concerning my little craziness. Okay? Not a man who will be screaming on top of his lungs calling me everything in the world except for the child of God. Okay? Because. Because I. Mm, girl. Girl. First time watching you, your videos. I'm hooked. Thank you, Sandra. Dude. I would do this every time I bought anything. Video doesn't lie. Oh, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Some parents, some co-parenting relationships are very civil. The parents respect each other. The parents are not trying to lie and make the other person look bad or unfit. But some co-parenting parent uh, situations... You got to document everything you do. You got to document everything you do. Because some parents have the nerve when they go to court that you don't contribute in any way, shape, or form. Even though you've been there from the time, as, especially as a mother, even though you've been there from the time that baby pop out of you up, up to the time the baby is, is at the age he or she is at and they're looking healthy and stuff like that. I be going through some situations in this. I mean, my ex-husband don't don't do that mess. My ex-husband, my two high school children, he's not about that negativity at all. Even though at the time when we were married, there was a whole lot of physical and verbal abuse. I couldn't bear it anymore, plus the cheating. I couldn't bear it anymore. I just had to leave for my own sanity. I just had to leave. But that man... And the, the, what's shameful and, and disappointing to me is the fact that my ex-husband is African-American. And he, he's the most respectful guy in co-parenting. Co Between him and myself, he's very respectful in co-parenting. But my youngest daughter, father, he's, 
He's African and we from the same place. Civil is not in his dictionary when it comes to co-parenting, okay? It's, it's disappointing. To me, it's disappointing. And, you know, I appreciate how civil my ex-husband is when it comes to co-parenting. But this dude, oh my God, nothing, nothing is civil. You know, at certain times, everything does calm down and we seem like we, you know, we understand each other boundaries because I, I, I got to put my foot down all the time for him to re, you know, for him to respect these boundaries. I always got to put my foot down. I'm always documenting things. I'm always fighting to, <laughs> to, to make things relevant and make sure he's not trying to create stories and lies. And I'm always having proof of everything because when, whenever you're co-parenting with somebody who's not civil, that's what you find yourself doing. You got to have proof for everything. Otherwise, they will tell lies upon lies upon lies about you so that they can make themselves look better. But at the end of the day, the person who's always lying on you, they're not doing nothing. He's doing something. I'm not saying he's not doing nothing, but... Why are you so concerned about making the other person look bad, though? That's lame. That is lame. So every clothes I buy for my daughter, I put M on it for mom. $150 a month did not buy this these six to $700 clothes at all. No, it did not. So... We're going to keep it real. Well, everything is black on this shirt. <laughs> everything on this shirt is black. Usually the other side of the tag would be light, but everything on this shirt is black. So I'm going to still try to put M on the black tag, but it's going to be very faint. Uh, it's not really showing. It's not really showing. Yes, I'm so proud of how my ex-husband handles the co-parenting thing. I'm proud of him. I can stand here and say that because I am not the fake lying behind type. No. Nope. He's African-American. He's so civil about everything. And then my own Liberian brother that mm, we made baby together is like, it's like hell. It's like hell, yo. It's like hell. So I'm, I always got to dot my eyes and cross my T's and make sure I'm documenting everything. Because why well, uh, we about to go to court and then you be talking about you did everything. You did this. You did that. Because when I show, I don't, I don't even throw receipts away when I do anything for the daughter between me and him. I don't even throw receipts away. I keep everything. Everything. Because that dude be like, I'm the reason why this is this has gotten better. I'm the reason why uh, this she's doing this. I'm the reason why she's doing that. And I'm like, okay, you got your proof of what you're doing as parent, and I got my proof. So what you talking about? What you really talking about? Like, it ain't supposed to be like that. Why are you throwing punches? Why are you trying to make somebody look like they don't fit? And it's always coming from that direction. Like, I try to just... I try to really just be cool. But sometimes you can't be cool. I don't care how long, how hard you try. That's why I ain't got nowhere for me to put the M. But, mm, We'll see. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I ain't got nowhere else to put this stuff, so... Get a bank account for her and use it only for... For her. The bank statements will help. Yeah, the, the, the $150 child support a month, it goes to a separate account. It totally goes to a separate account. And that account only has child support in it. 
So any spendings from my personal account, that's proof that that's not a child support money. Okay? It proves that that's not from no child support money. Ew. Sometimes some parents, boy, you gotta be on your A game with some parents. Because they'll try to make you look horrible. They will try to make you look horrible. Like I said, keyword try. They will try to make you look horrible. And when I see people in the community, they be like, oh, y'all don't look so good together. Y'all should work it out. I'm like, no. You want a murder suicide situation running around here? No. No. You don't know. You don't know. Don't be trying to recommend folks for each other who know that they're not good for each other. No. Not because of the child. That child won't even be at peace if we were together. Okay? That child won't be at peace. My other kids won't be at peace if we were to try to work anything out. Okay? Y'all want to hear that? Oh, it's the police at Faye Nelson's house again. Oh, the police is... Oh, Faye is in jail. Oh, her baby daddy in jail. Oh, my God. Did y'all see this? Did y'all see that? Oh, drama. In Faye's... No, no, no. Don't be telling me to work nothing out with somebody who... I mean, shit. That's going to be a toxic, hostile situation right there. We're going to avoid that, okay? We're going to avoid that. So when people are trying to say, uh, he looks so good. Uh, looks are deceiving. Looks are deceiving. And I tell them straight up, I'm very hot-headed. And you see that dude right there? He's hot-headed. So put two and two together. Somebody going to gonna, gonna just... Snap. Okay? When we're both of us together, both of us snapping. Okay? You don't know how far we're going we gonna to take that snapping. So, no. I mean, he looks good and all. And y'all think we look good together? I'd be like, he looks good with any of y'all here too. Y'all, Any of y'all can have him. If he looks good and y'all think me and him look good together, y'all and him look good together too. Why y'all trying to... Why y'all trying to fix something that, that can't be fixed? Why y'all trying to push him up on me? Y'all can have him. He looks good. He looks good for you. I'm going to tell you right now, he don't look good for me. From the inside, he don't look good for me. So, if you're going by the physical, you can have him. Child, you can have him. Have him. At least when he wear his nice outfit and y'all step in the public, you'll be like, yeah, I got a man. I got a good looking man. Now, for me, it's the inside. I know I'm hot-headed. I don't need no hot-headed man. Seriously. It's my decision. We're not about to be uh, in and out of jail or always calling the police until the police get tired. And then you keep doing that until one day the both of y'all crazy behind end up on TV. Man, oh, that goes fair. That goes fair. Oh, my God. Is that how a life looks? Oh, my God. Did y'all see Faye on TV? Oh my goodness, they said she almost KO her baby daddy. Why? Because it got to that point. And that's what we're trying to avoid. So stop saying he looks good and y'all should work it out. No, we're not working nothing out. We're not working nothing out. I'm human being. I'm in the flesh, okay? I'm in the flesh. And no matter how holy and righteous you think you are going to church and praising God, lifting up your filthy hands and stuff like that, every Christian person, every child of God got that part of them that you really don't want to see. That you really don't want to see. And people who push you there, you got to avoid them. Because the Bible says, if your left arm calls you to sin, you need to chop it off. If your right eye, left eye causes you to sin, you need to take it off. Anything that causes you to sin, you need to get rid of it. I'm also doing what the Bible said by avoiding a relationship with somebody who's going to make me sin all the time. Go to bed angry all the time. Wake up looking at you like, I want to do something with you. I, I just want to do something with you. I don't know. I want to live that kind of life and then... If the rapture happened or if I don't wake up one morning, I'm going straight to hell. No, I think about all that stuff. 
I'm not looking at the physical. Uh, he looks good. Y'all can be together. I said, no, y'all, you and him can be together too. You and him can be together too. Get away from me with that. I know what I want. And that ain't that. Nope. Leave me alone. For real. People be trying to go all, become all Dr. Phil on you, and they don't really know. And they don't really know what you're trying to avoid. They don't really know. As far as I'm concerned, that man should be trying to avoid me too. He should try to avoid me too. I don't care how good the puna puna may be, or whatever the hell the case may be, or if I got a good hair on my sh on my shoulder, I'm a hardworking woman, I'm I'm multi talented and all that stuff. Well, then you see that to try to be civil and really loving. No, but even though you may see that, you probably just have a character and personality that you can't even change. And I. I, I'm not Jesus. I can't change anybody. I am who I am. And because I know who I am, I know who I need to avoid so that my bad side don't come out. My pastor always say, I got a Thomas. I don't want my Thomas to come out, okay? That's why I got to avoid certain people. I got to avoid being with that particular guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all going to look good together. Well, my network started acting up just now. No, I'm talking real talk here because somebody would be like, oh, you putting your business out. But I ain't calling no names and I'm just being real. I'm just being real because everybody is either, everybody is either single, married, in a relationship, fiance stage or whatsoever. And even as that, just being, just being social and associated with people on the jobs or anywhere. There's just certain people you got to avoid. Whether you have children with them, whether they're your ex-husband or ex-girlfriend or boyfriend. There's just certain people you need to avoid. This is some real life talk right here. And I ain't saying no names. I'm just saying. Hey, it is what it is. Okay, inside the shoes and all of this. I'm about to mark M for mommy. Mommy bought this. Nobody about to say, I bought this, I bought that, I buy everything. Nope. Even $150 child support a month don't buy all this stuff. Nope. I keep all the receipts. Mark everything. Yes. Yes, ma'am. We're going to mark Say, what you got? What you got on? What I got on? I'm wearing a wrapper and a shirt. And I got my bonnet on my head. You know. I'm wearing bra and underwear. I'm wearing some deodorant. Yeah, I'm wearing some, you know, single braids. Is that what you mean, girl? <laughs> Is that what you asking? I'm trying to mark these clothes, man. I'm trying to put M on everything I bought. If they end up over to Mr. Daddy Man's house over there, and I say, hey, baby, you need to bring your clothes back, she just got to look and see. The one that got M on it with a marker. Oh, mommy bought this one. Mommy bought that one. Mommy bought this one. I got to take it back home, daddy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you can't say no because, yeah, daddy, you didn't buy you didn't buy these things. So send it back. Send them back. Y'all going to ask me what I got on. You ask me what I got on. I'm like, I'm looking at myself like some drawers, some bras, some deodorant. Got some morning breath going and all. Uh, shoot, the kids just went to school. I woke up, huh? Yeah, I got to I'm wearing some pretty funky morning breath. I got my bra on. I'm wearing a wrapper and a shirt. You know, bras, all of that stuff I got on. Mm-hmm, bonnet. 
Mm, braids. I'm got these braids on. Yeah. That's what I got on, girl. You look beautiful as always. Thank you, Clinton. Louisville in the house. Ophavia on the market spree. Huh? <laughs> yes, yes. Ophavia over here documenting everything. So her Mr. Cold Parent Man shouldn't say, I got everything. I do everything. I, 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 I. Sound like a kindergarten song because it's such, it's, it's so cliche. I sound, like, sound like a broken record. It's like, I, 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 I get everything. I get everything. I, 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 I get everything. I, 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 I get so tired of the I. I, 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 he sound like a bunch of those birds that be, I, 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 and I be like, why, why, shut up, shut up, no you don't, shut up, please, this is the last bag, this is the last bag, yes, I got a proof, these Jordans, I'm going to put my name on the inside too. I'm going to put M for mom on the inside of these Jordans too. Because I remember, oh my God. I think it was 2016 when we went to court. This man said he bought all the name brand shoes. That the kids only had name brand shoes because of him. Mm-mm. Since that time, I keep receipts, and now I'm starting to mark stuff, especially for the child between me and him. I mark, I mark stuff. Florida and New York. Hey, Douglas Hill. Y'all, thanks for um, joining my live this morning. Thanks for the comments and the engagements. Thank you. I wonder if some people who don't like me on this live because they just be here watching my video and when they're ready, they just lynch. They just throw shades and, throw, you know, it be like shots fired. And I'm like, okay. And then when I go to respond, they get mad. Why you get mad? I'm not even, I'm not even lynching. I'm not even cussing you out. I'm not doing none of that. I'm just trying to talk some sense. And then they get mad because I responded. I responded to something on my page. People be getting, people, oh, people be tripping. I want to be engaging too. I'm not going to just be a member of the comment associate association. Sometimes I got comment too. And I promise you, I won't be rude. I won't be rude. I won't cause nobody out. Even if they, if they say something negative to me, I'm not going to cuss anybody out. But sometimes I got to clap back. Sometimes. I gotta, I gotta clap back. You're not about to bully me on my own page. Sometimes I gotta clap back. Best believe that now. I gotta clap back. I'm not gonna be cussing nobody out, but I'm just gonna talk some sense. That's all I'm gonna do. It's okay to talk some sense. That's all I'm gonna do. Since you don't wanna talk some sense, I'll talk some sense. But I'm gonna clap back sometimes. Sometimes I'll clap back. It's not that... It's not that the negativity is affecting me, but sometimes you, you, you just see certain people, you know, following the same patterns of doing certain things, and then you're like, oh no, I'm gonna say something this time, and I hope you're ready. I'm gonna say something this time, and I like how everybody come there and back me. Y'all like my little team of lawyers. Y'all like my, y'all like my little team of lawyers because it's like whenever I come. I come in there and talk some sense into somebody who's being negative. It's like the entire community of Faye Nelson just come and we all just boom, 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 boom. We go back and forth. It's like I have one or two comments there and the rest of everybody be like boom, 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 boom. That stuff be so fun. I be reading every comment. I be wanting to laugh, put emojis on every comment. But it's like, man, this person right here is fried right now, okay? You try to roast me, look at look look at this. Look at this. You try to roast me, now you're burnt. Like really burnt. I had that to turn you into ashes, okay? You just got you try to you try to roast me, you just got cremated. 
It'd be fun, but every now and then I got to clap back. I'm sorry. In a civil manner, in a civil and respectful manner, just talk some sense. But if you come for me to roast me on my page, sir, ma'am, I guarantee you, you're going to end up being cremated by everybody on this fan page because they don't play. They don't play. And I'll be nice about mine, but y'all don't be nice. Y'all don't be nice at all. <laughs> Y'all don't be nice at all. Oh my God. Especially when they come for y'all too. It's just, oh my God. I be, I be loving the comments. I'm going to pray for y'all too. I'm going to pray for y'all so y'all can try to be nice. <laughs> when y'all talk and y'all clapping back. Shoot. People be tripping for real though. All these videos I be making, people be tripping for real. They don't see it as, as comedy, and they just have to be negative about it. Like, yo, chill. It's comedy. Ain't nobody drinking wine from my feet or my hair. Ain't nobody eating fufu and soup that came from the toilet, the trash can, the blood, the benches outside. You know, I got one more video I need to make, and I, I haven't gotten to it yet. I'll get to it, you know. This is the beginning of the school year. I've been kind of busy, you know. Back to school shopping, making sure we on top of everything before school starts. You belong to a global community and we support you. Thank you, Douglas. Keyword, queen, your page. Thank you, Viola. You tried to roast me. The whole team just, <laughs> just come. They do. Y'all do. Y'all do kind of love you, Faye. Love you too, Bobby. They need to sort out their problems, then they'll find the humor in your content. Yep. Yep, that's their problem. But some people, I got come for them. Because they actually sent for me. They actually, Faye Nelson, once you said Faye Nelson, you sent for me, I'd be like, oh, oh, here I come. What, what you say again? Okay, this is what I got to say. And then when I'm done, when I'm done, everybody come and have you cremated. And it's like, sometimes it be, it be so, I be feeling bad a little bit because when they come for me and I say one thing and I'm nice about it and the whole community come for them, they be like, I just tried to say something the other day and everybody came for me. So I don't want to say nothing anymore. Don't, you can say anything you want, but don't be so negative. That's all. Everybody over here commenting. Okay. You don't have to be so negative. That's all. I don't know where am I going to mark this shirt. That's all. And they be tripping when I say something. Like, okay. Sometimes I have to say something. I'm sorry, but sometimes I just have to say something. Send them away. Yeah, the last time, the last time I noticed that, you know, a couple of people hit the block, unfollow. But that's life. That's life. It's like you, you go to a job, you can't stand the people anymore, and you quit. Or you have a friend, and that friend, you know, stab you in the back, or deceive you, or disappoint at you, and you're like, oh, no, this is too much. I can't trust you anymore. You drop, you drop them like a bad habit. You know, everything in life has time and season, all right? I ain't gonna be in my feelings about people who don't like me on the internet. Like, hello? I don't have to sleep next to you. You don't have to sleep next to me. I'm not, I'm not playing any important role in your life. Since you feel that my content is not funny. But on this page, all of y'all play a very important role in my life. Because when y'all engage, man, y'all comments be funny. It be funny. It make my day. It make my day. It makes my day. How long have I been talking? Opinions are like a-holes. Everyone has one. I love your energy. Thank you, Constance Jenkins. Thank you. I know. Opinions, I mean, as for opinions, like, think about it. If I'm really going to take it to heart and charge it to my head and charge it to my heart, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to maintain no fan page. Can you imagine if you let everything on the internet get to you and the next thing you know you're in the mental hospital because of what 
people you don't know personally say to you via comments? No, 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 you can't ruin my day with your comments. No, no, nope. You, can, you can't please everyone in this world. Just do you and be you. Yeah. Yep. Yes to that. No to the negativity. No. Most of the time I read it. And when they come for me, I decide when I'm going to come for them. And it usually is the best part. You're absolutely right. Thank you. Uh, I didn't read a lot of these comments because, boy, I be talking, I talk, I talk a lot. Do what makes you happy. What's for today, mama? I'm keen. Morning, Faye. Morning, Melinda. Thank you, Miss Faye. Needed to hear all of this, this blessed morning. Amen. And have a blessed day. Have a blessed day too, Tanisha. I'm about to go off too anyways. Do you want in the name and initials or just initials. I just initial M for mom. Yeah. I just initial M for mom because I really can't. I can't really put my name in there. I just want so. When I say, oh baby. All your clothes seems to be at your daddy's house. So she. And Mr. Co-parent daddy guy. So both of them can identify the one from mommy's house. Mm? So she can bring it home. Yeah, that's all I'm trying to do. Because if I don't do that, he's going to claim that he bought all of these. Because whenever he claiming that he bought, he bought this, he bought that. I don't have nothing to say because that's petty. That's petty. I don't have nothing to say. But I know what I got to do to make sure... That what I buy comes back here and stays here. That you, that you are aware that this is what she bought. You know, I got to do what I got to do. And that's all. When you see it and you see mom on it, you can't claim it. Because I bought it and I marked it. So you can't claim it. I swear, I really never thought of that. Now, girl, love AJ, yes. You can mark it. These are Sharpie markers. And they're not going to come off. They're not going to come off at all. So when these clothes go to his place. And I'm starting to notice or hear her say, Mom, I don't have any clothes. I'm going to say, it's time to go through the ones you got at your dad's house. You'll see your M on it. Pack it up and bring it back, baby. Pack it up. Those are the ones I bought. I'm not trying to claim anything that your dad bought, but the ones that I bought got M on it for mom. Pack them up and bring them. If he wants to say anything, and matter of fact, I'll let him know. I'll let him know. Everything that I'm buying, I'm putting M on it for mom. Feel free to put D on whatever you bought for dad. So when it comes here, I know how to identify it. Because everything that has M on it is not going to leave this house. For you to claim it and say I bought it. No, it's not going to happen. So, I am going to let him know. And I bet you everything he buys, he's going to stop putting D on it for daddy. I could I could say D for D-I-C-K instead because he's such one of those. But he can put D for daddy. But I'll be calling that D something else. Yeah, because he's something else. He's something else. No name calling. This is some real life stuff. This is some real life stuff right here. I could use that D for something else. I'm not going to say daddy. When I see it on the clothes, I'm going to be like, oh, there goes that D stuff right here. <laughs> there goes that clothes that came from that D. <laughs> Okay, that D bought this one. Okay, I'm not gonna say daddy. I'll be saying something else. <laughs> She's not gonna hear me, but it's gonna be in my mind. <laughs> it's gonna be in my head. Yeah, yeah. crazy. 
crazy. I'm too crazy. I'm too high-headed to be with a hot-headed man. I'm sorry. Mm-mm. I need a cool laid back guy who know how to, you know, who is mature and know how to respectfully approach every situation when the girl is a little hot headed. You know, people like that, they're good for me. Because you say what you say, you mean what you mean, you do what you do, I start to have respect for you. But if you hot headed, and you want to do all this and cuss me out and do all that? Uh-uh. We mm -mm. Mm -mm. Because you about to bring the bad out of me. I'm high-headed. And you about to do all that and bring the bad out of me. And then both of us acting all toxic around here. No. Sometimes you got to know what's good for you. It's not all about the physical, okay? Because these days be like, oh my God, look at his lips, girl. Look at his butt. Oh my God, look at them arms and stuff like that. Yeah, all that good looking. Come with an ugly inside. No, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Getting too old to be dealing with ugly every day. You end up being ugly too. You end up being ugly. And then everything you want to do for yourself in life, all that ugly start to affect it, okay? All that ugly start to affect it now. No, no, no. Thank God this is America. Everybody, as long as you can hustle and you hard working, you can take care of yourself and have, you know, and have your own life, you know? When it comes to relationship, two people got to be able to understand and, you know, and, and, uh, and honor each other and respect each other, you know? Know what you can't do to the other person, you know? Know what you can't do to the other person. You know, relationship is all about understanding and respecting each other. You know what I'm saying? I know I put that status up talking about on oh, you. For us women, we should learn to respect and honor men because that's the instruction God gave us. And I agree with some people and say, oh, because men are supposed to love women, women are supposed to respect and honor men. And whenever you see... A situation where a man does not show that he loves a woman, the woman start to get to a point where she's tired, she start to lose it, and then that respect goes away. It's automatic. It, it's, it's automatic. It's like res honor and respect translate as love for a man and for women. It, it yep, honor and respect translate as love for a man, and love translates as respect for a woman you love us that means you respect us if we honor and respect you that means we love you if we honor and respect you and support you bend over backwards for you that means we love you so all you got to do is love us and we know that tells us that you respect and value us you love us we take it as respect and value we respect and honor you you take it as love that's how it that's how it is whenever you see two people together the man not loving that woman well you're gonna see how she gonna turn real quick and you know after some time she gonna turn and she gonna lose that respect for him and he really not gonna be able to get through to her anymore i'm saying that's just how it goes that's just how it goes you want a woman to respect and honor you all the time, you got to show her if it's worth it. If that's who you really, truly want to be with, you got to show it to her. By loving her, you got to show it to her. Because when you love her, that means you value her and you actually got a plan for her. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes the brothers come, they want to, you know, they want to have the puna puna and they want to have the support. They want to have everything. And then they not want to give you nothing. And then sometimes it goes the other way. Sometimes the brother will bring everything and the female don't want to, don't want to give nothing back. Don't want to give no honor and respect back. And eventually she get what she deserves. You know, you, you reap what you sow. In any situation, you reap what you sow. Honestly, that's just, that's just life. You reap what you sow. Like the the great Myers Moreau used to say, 
may he rest in peace. He used to say, if you don't like what you're getting, change what you're giving. I used to love that man. I used to love that man. I still love his teachings. In any situation, in any condition, in any relationship, on the job, with your children, wherever, with a man or a woman, if you don't like what you're getting, you have to change what you're giving. It's, it's just that simple because you will reap what you sow. Okay, well, I'm tired of talking. Y'all, thanks for joining my live this morning. My first time chat catching you live. Hi, sunshine. It's a two way. Most times, the mother puts in more work. To be honest, yep, a good a good mother always putting more work. Um, she will go somewhere else. I know, right? <laughs> okay, y'all have a wonderful day. Y'all have a wonderful day, Sabrina, Demetra, uh, near Landy. <laughs> I hope I said that right. Mama, yes, go boy boys. Good morning, Andrea. You just got here. You when we go off live, you go have a over over watch this video. I was waiting on the Puna Puna. Where are you went on Puna Puna? Yo, Puna Puna. You know how Beyonce came up with the word booty laces. The day Puna Puna get popular and they want to put it in the Webster Dictionary, they better credit me with that and pimp some royalties because I came up with the word Puna Puna because I sometimes when whatever you're doing in life, you got to have, you got to be original with some things, okay? That serves as your identity. Anybody, anywhere in the world, if somebody say Puna Puna, they're going to be like, yeah, remember that comedian say Nelson? She always used to call the coochie Puna Puna. Yeah, I'm actually proud of that. I have the creativity, man. <laughs> oh my God, y'all have a wonderful day. Love y'all. It's been a pleasure going live. I don't know. I don't go live. I don't go live much at all. Yes. Hashtag Puna Puna hashtag fit. <laughs> hashtag Puna Puna hashtag fit. Yep. Mm hmm. The river. That's my trademark right there, okay? Just like Booty Lacious goes with Beyonce, Puna Puna goes with Faye. Pauline, hey Pauline, Pauline, my own country girl, what's up, my Jew? Yeah, name my country, y'all go name my, I see it, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all, y'all know what I just said, but I see my, my own, my own tribe lady right there, so I'm talking to her. Well, I said only she can understand it. Y'all go need my eyes see it. That's us right there. We have a certain saying about um, Nimbadians. We are certain tribes from Liberia. They call us Nimbadians. When we say y'all go need my eyes see it, we are saying that whatever comes from Nimba County is always good. It doesn't go bad. That's what we're saying, okay? So y'all have a blessed day. It was fun chilling with y'all. At least I had something to go laugh about this morning. And I was in the right spirit, the right mind, and everything. And, you know, so y'all be blessed. It's been a pleasure chilling with y'all and stuff. So y'all have a blessed day. Puna Puna, hashtag Puna Puna, hashtag Faith. That's, that's me right there. Stay blessed. Mwah. Love y'all. Thanks. Yeah. I don't know what's up with these fingers. Why well, I got so much meat on the back of my knuckles. Y'all have a wonderful day. Love y'all. See y'all the next time I go live. It may be in 2022 or probably, I don't know, the next six, four, five, or three, two months. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to go live. And if I go live, you know, I don't want it to be too boring. Today was a good live. You're a mess of Fabio Puna Puna. Yeah, Puna Puna. Puna Puna, hashtag fair, hashtag Puna Puna. That's, that's, that's my, that's my original word right there, okay? One day I'm going to try to make sure that it get in Western, Western Dictionary. I'm going to try to, you know, see how Google can, you know, put it up there with a definition. Because when somebody, you know how the dudes be asking, like, what is Puna Puna? Like, it would be so great if you go on on Google and type what is Puna Puna and then the, the the definition comes up and say it's a female private part, it's 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 vagina and yeah. You know, 
That would be so cool if my word be chilling in Google Archive when somebody type it what is Puna Puna and just give them the definition. That would be so cool. Copyright, trademark, hashtag pay, hashtag Puna Puna. That's all me. Y'all have a blessed day, man. I have fun with y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Have a blessed week. I pray that your children be covered this school year and your family be covered this school year. Your goals and aspirations, I pray that God favors you and God makes everything that you dream and hope for his variety. I pray that y'all be blessed. Amen and amen. Okay? Mwah. Mwah. Love you. Bye.